Sure. Joining us tonight, Congressman Andy Biggs, chair of the House Freedom Caucus, a member of the House Judiciary Committee, co-chair of the Border Security Caucus. Congressman, good to have you with us. Let's are you kidding me? This is going to be voted on tomorrow? Did I miss well, the hearings and the I, I, amendments? What happened here? There were, there were no hearings other than the Rules Committee, but every bill gets to the Rules Committee, and they decided well, they would Congressman, not... Congressman, excuse me. Yeah. We've watched a president go through pure hell because of the abuse of power of the of a politically corrupt FBI and Department of Justice using this same FISA court system... Uh, and defrauding it, and we're not going to have hearings on it? That's right. I mean, this it wasn't just the president. The whole country, think if you were Carter Page. I mean, Lou, we didn't have, judiciary should have had a hearing on this. Uh, Intel Committee should have had a hearing. They should have let us offer amendments. Uh, we should be voting on amendments tomorrow. We're not doing any of that. Um, and, and the reality is, uh, in my opinion, these proposed reforms will do nothing to protect the president. But oddly enough, there is a provision in there to protect elected federal officials or candidates for federal office, if you can believe that. A special provision for, for who knows, maybe uh, congressmen and senators. That's, that's what's in there, and we're treating that... Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. And then you've got the, uh, the other factor here. You've got things like the so-called amici, which, which was never used in the Carter are they, Page case. Are the Republicans intent on destroying the party? I, I mean, this is madness. Yeah. Is Kevin McCarthy in favor of this, this idiocy? I, I, I'm led to believe that uh, he supports the, the uh, reform bill, if I can put it that, the kind of bipartisan report, reform bill, yeah. And it goes to the Senate, right? Mitch McConnell, surely, stalwart of uh, the great constitutional republic, surely he will stand against this, uh, that it will simply enable more abuse and more political corruption on the part of uh, the Justice Department, the FBI. I, I, I'm, I don't think I can agree with that statement, sir. I believe that, that uh, this is going to get through the Senate. The only threat is, don't forget this, the Senate, many in the Senate want a clean reauthorization with no reforms at all. And the bottom line is, I would rather just see this thing completely um, expire at midnight on Sunday. And if that happens, guess what? They'll keep spying on foreign agents and probably, probably keep spying on Americans as well. So you're not one of those who is moved uh, by these, the scare tactics that there would be a terrorist attack because we didn't authorize three provisions of the FISA court uh, legislation. Not at all. Look, our, that's what our intelligence agencies do. They, they spy on uh, foreign folks, and that, then we found out that some of them spy on Americans. Yeah, well, it and, turns out they spent more time spying on a president uh, than they did uh, known terrorists uh, in right. uh, half a dozen cases. Yeah, that's right. And so look, what happens? In, uh, the president has said he opposes reauthorization without reform. What does he do here? Will he vote, veto it if necessary? I, I would hope so, but I'm afraid that he's going to be persuaded. I think people are going to try to hang a potential terrorist threat on his neck. They're going to say, oh, we've got these internal mechanisms now in place. We've strengthened, we've, we've enhanced criminal penalties. But, Lou, you and I both know this. You, it's not criminal Crim if you don't charge somebody yeah. and convict them. And they didn't criminal charge anybody. Penalties. Yeah, you, you can have, you could say we're going to be 100 years, but you don't deter yeah. any of this activity unless you actually charge somebody and, and, and actually try them or persuade them to plead to a, a conviction. If you so don't have that, yeah, you, it's just not So we're at the point that we don't have to worry about they're not uh, reauthorizing it because we know full well the corrupt FBI and Justice Department will spy anyway. Uh, and secondarily, we know that no one will be held accountable for the crimes they've already committed under FISA. Congressman Andy Biggs, always great to have you with us. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lou.